Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the very catchy song called Scooby-Doo. The one is scooby doo be doo where are you? That one, okay? So I'll give you a preview of what you're going to learn today. Go somewhere like this, check it out. It goes like this, okay, check it out. So let's go ahead and learn how to play this, okay? So, uh, the right hand goes like this, starts on the C sharp here, so middle C is here, right? We go up to the next C above here, so starting on the C sharp right here. So, it goes two C sharps, and then B, twice, and then the A. And then it goes B, C sharp, down to F sharp, just like that for the right hand, okay? One more time. So. The right hand goes like this. So it goes two C sharps, two Bs, and an A, and then it goes B, C sharp, down to F sharp, like that for the right hand. Okay, so that's the right hand. So the rhythm is pretty simple as well. It's just one, two, three, four. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Like that, okay? So the F sharp is syncopated between the B. That's the only part, okay? So one more time, it goes dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Like that, okay? So, with that in mind, the left hand now for the first part, where there are two chords here. The two chords are very simple. Just learn these two chords and you pretty much learn this whole section because there's always going to be these two chords cycling throughout the section, okay? So, the two chords are, okay, pay attention, it's A major, which is A, C sharp, B, followed by B minor, which is B, D, F sharp. Alright, so with these two chords in mind, so A major followed by B minor, the two hands together would go like this, okay? So firstly it goes C sharp and the A major together, so it's like together, and then the B and the B minor together, down to F sharp together, like that. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this, so it goes together, together. So yes, that is the first part complete. Okay, now let's move on to the second part. So the second part, right hand continues on. It goes F sharp and then two E's up to the C sharp. Another C sharp, B, and then A like that for the right hand, okay? One more time, so it goes like this. It goes F sharp, two E's up to C sharp. C sharp, B, A like that for the right hand. Okay, so once you get that for the right hand, the left hand, really simple, is because of the fact that there's two chords, but the two chords you actually already to learn it, but it's in a different order. So this time is B minor, which is B, D, F sharp, and then the second chord is just back to A major. So it's kind of like the reverse, A, C sharp, B. So if you know the first part, where it's A major followed by B minor, and the second part is just the reverse, it's like B minor followed by A major, okay? But anyway, with those two chords in mind, so B minor and A major for the second part for this left hand, the two hands together would go like this, okay? So it goes, let me see, okay. Right hand starts with the F sharp by itself, the first E and the B minor together. After the B, A major by itself. Just like that. Alright, one more time, so it goes like this, so it goes... Together, here, just like that. All right. So yes, that is the second part. Okay. So so far, the two parts that I've learned will be played back to back like this. Check it out. So it goes like this. Okay. Like that. Okay. You can hear that similar like rhythm kind of going through. Okay. So if you can sing it in your head, like. Where are you? Da, 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 da. Okay, so if you actually can actually like sing this in your head, you'll be able to easily like play the rhythm out as well because your hands are just kind of like following what you're seeing, okay? But anyway, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the first two parts. Okay, moving on to the third part. Okay, there's a pattern for this. The third part is very easy because if you think of the third part, it's actually pretty much exactly the same as the first part, but the right hand, the last note, is the only different thing happening, okay? So I'll tell you exactly what's happening. So this third part is pretty much exactly the same as the first part for pretty much all of the notes, like this, so it goes. Okay, instead of F sharp this time for the right hand for the last note, 
right hand this time, it don't, doesn't go to the F sharp, it goes to the D right next to it, like that. That's the only difference, see? So pretty much exactly the same as the first part, except for the fact that the right hand has a D note here instead of an F sharp this time. Okay, one more time, it goes like this, it goes together, and then together, D, like that. Okay, so yeah, that's the third part. Remember, third part, pretty much the same as the first part, except for the right hand is a D note. For the last note on the right hand, okay? So yeah, these patterns are very important because it allows you to learn stuff really quickly without the need to actually to kind of like go through it again because you already kind of know everything before it and then the only pattern that is different is like that one note, okay? But anyway, yeah, that's this the third part. Let's go ahead and play the three parts that I've learned so far back to back. Okay, it goes something like this, check it out. So it goes. Moving on to the fourth and the last part of this section, okay? So this fourth and the last part of the section is really easy because it's actually exactly, exactly the same as the second part with no differences, okay? So you know it already. So this fourth part, same as the second part, goes like this. Let's go. Just like that, simple, okay? So one more time, it goes like this. Let's go. Here. Just like that, okay? So that's the fourth part, exactly the same as the second part. And that's it, we've got the section out of the way, okay? So uh, together, all together, all the parts will be played back to back like this, okay? So check it out, so it goes. So yeah, it's pretty fun. This song, like the chords are not that hard, but in my cover, I guess, let me see, okay? The left hand pattern for what I did in my cover, I can remember what I did. I basically did, I took the um, A major, so I, for all the chords, I took like an umpa pattern, so it's like umpa, but every single time, even for the B minor ones, I go down to the E here. So it's like, even for the B minor, it goes, there's a big stretch down to E. So that's what I did for all of them, okay? So it's like, a da, 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 da. like it's like this, check it, check it out. So that's like that, okay? So it's a big stretch. For some of you guys who kind of do this E, big stretch, you just have to kind of jump into it, okay? But yeah, that's what I did for my cover. So all the chords, I do a tonic note, the uh, like the root note, the A note, and then up to the high two notes, and then down an octave for the highest note down to here back to the higher two notes, like that. And then, same for the B, up to the higher. And, but this time it goes down to E again. Yeah, so that lowest note here, for all the chords, I always play that as that one, because it just sounds like that in the original as well. It's always doing that, going back to the E bass note, okay? So, okay, so that's what you need to practice, that left hand pattern for that. I guess because you know how it's always A major followed by two B minors followed by A major, just have to practice that um, progression with this accompanying pattern as well. So. Like that, okay, so. that okay so that's what, what happens when you apply the pattern but yeah that's pretty much it so if you're interested go ahead and check out my full cover of this song like I played the entire song the entire I guess is like one and something minutes of it the actual original uh, theme song it's all the parts including all the different uh, like sections and stuff that's the first section that's the main theme that's the thing when you actually open up the show and actually listen to okay and then there's the next section which is like similar to the section that I just taught you and there's a complete different section after that as well as Da 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 da. So the part that goes, um, I can't remember. It's like, okay, that part, okay. But I did the whole thing, so you can listen to that piano cover and just enjoy that if you like want to get some um, feels and memories for this show again, okay. But it's, yeah, this show's been for quite a long time, and recently, like, I guess, the, the, I guess the um, yeah, the Scooby, Scooby. 
What's the word? Scooby? The, the dog. The dog has become kind of like a meme type of thing. But anyway, as for now, I guess, hope you enjoyed this lesson. Enjoy my other piano covers and tutorials on this channel. I have done over 2,000. A lot of, lot of stuff for you to enjoy. So as for now, I guess, yeah, enjoy time on my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.